Hello dear learners, welcome back to Fun Scholar e-learning series. I am Rikta and we here at Fun Scholar are committed to bring the best from the world of robotics and electronics to you. Today we are going to make an object counter circuit. But before starting the tutorial, let me remind you to do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such interesting tutorials. Today we are going to use a special IC named display driver counter to make the circuit. With the help of this IC, we will count the numbers on 7th segment display. 7th segment display is a form of a display device for displaying decimal numbers. So let us make this interesting circuit but before that, let us see the components required to make this circuit. Here is the list containing the name as well as specification of all the components required for making this circuit. This is our breadboard. This is the 9 volt battery. This is our IC HCF4033BE, which is actually a display driver counter. And this is our 7 segment display. Here we need 247 kilo ohm resistors, 1 LDR that is light dependent resistor, one capacitor of 10 microfarad, a push button and few connecting wires. Meanwhile, let me remind you that we do have separate tutorials on our channel on resistor and capacitor. The link of all the tutorials are in the description box. Now first we will place the IC and the 7 segment display on the breadboard. There is a notch on the IC. We start counting the number of pins of it from the left side of this notch. And on the 7 segment display, there is a dot. We start counting the number of pins of it from this side. So this is the circuit diagram of our circuit. Where this is our IC, that is the display driver counter. This one is the 7 segment display. Here we have used two resistors, one capacitor, and one LDR and the button which we have used is used as a reset button for the circuit. We start our circuit connection from pin number 1 of the IC. First we will connect pin number 1 with 47 kilo ohm resistor and the other leg of the resistor will be connected to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Again we will connect a LDR with pin number 1 of the IC and the other leg of the LDR will be connected with the negative power rail of the breadboard. Next we will connect pin number 2 with pin number 14 of the IC and then after pin number 2 will be connected with the ground or the negative power rail of the breadboard. Next we will connect pin number 3 with positive power rail of the breadboard. Pin number 4 and 5 of the IC will be left open. Pin number 6 will be connected with pin number 9 of the 7 segment display. Pin number 7 will be connected with pin number 10 of the 7 segment display. Pin number 8 of the IC will be connected to ground or negative power rail of the breadboard. Pin number 9 will be connected with pin number 2 of the 7 segment display and pin number 10 will be connected with pin number 7 of the 7 segment display. Pin number 11 will be connected with pin number 1 of the 7 segment display and pin number 12 will be connected with pin number 6 of the 7 segment display. Next we will connect pin number 13 with pin number 4 of the 7 segment display. Pin number 14 of the IC is already connected with pin number 2 of it. Now we will connect the capacitor with the IC. 10 microfarad capacitor will be connected in between pin number 15 and pin number 16 in such a way that the negative leg of it that is the smaller leg of it will be connected to pin number 15 and the longer leg that is the positive leg of it will be connected to pin number 16. We will connect the button that is the push button with pin number 15 and the other leg of the button will be connected to positive power rail of the breadboard. 
again we will connect a resistor of 47 kilo ohm with pin number 15 and the other leg of the resistor will be connected to the negative power rail of the breadboard and pin number 16 will be connected with the positive power rail of the breadboard and at last we will connect pin number 3 of the 7 segment display with pin number 8 of it and then pin number 8 will be connected to the negative power rail of the breadboard now as we have completed all the connections so it's time to connect the battery with the circuit and we have to connect the negative terminal that is the black terminal of the battery with the negative power rail and the red terminal that is the positive terminal of the battery with the positive power rail of the breadboard as soon as we connect the battery with the circuit the 7 segment display start display now you can see that whenever i am touching the LDR the number displaying on the 7 segment display is increasing by 1 this is because LDR is a type of a resistor whose resistance decreases when the intensity of light falling on it increases in the circuit the amount of light falling on the LDR decreases whenever I am touching it. Consequently, the resistance of LDR increases to provide a clock pulse to pin number 1 of the IC through the resistor of 47 kilo ohm. During this time, the 7 segment display starts counting and the number displaying on it increases by 1. This is how the 7 segment display can count from 0 to 9. You can see that whenever I am pressing this button, the display on the 7 segment display comes to 0. This is because here this button is working as a reset button. That is, whenever we press the button, the 7 segment display will reset itself. This is how the circuit works. Hope you like making this interesting circuit. For more such interesting tutorials, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will come back to you soon with more such interesting tutorials and circuits. Till then, keep learning, be safe and keep watching Pulse Scholar e-learning series. Thank you for watching.